Welcome to our review on rate and surface area. Hopefully in class you've actually carried out this experiment and the most likely one that you've done regarding our surface area and the rate of reaction is involving several different sized marble chips. So you'd have had large marble chips, medium or small marble chips, and then you'd have also had the powder. Because what we're doing there by changing the size of the chip is we're changing the surface area. The reason that we find the surface area changes is that when we break a material up into smaller pieces, then we're increasing the surface area. So if you consider having one big block on your desk, then the surface area are only the outside faces of it. Everything else is trapped inside and not counted. If we then cut that in half, what we've done is we've got a new two surfaces that were previously inside, now exposed to the outside area. So the surface area increases the more we break a material up. So when we're thinking about the different materials we could use, a powder will always have the largest surface area. Key thing to remember though, when you're designing an experiment to make sure that it is a fair test, is to make sure that you use the same mass of the actual materials. So you'd use one gram of marble chips in large form, but also one gram of the powder. If you use different masses, it wouldn't obviously be comparable. When we then consider what happens to the rate of reaction as we increase the surface area, then what we find is we also increase the rate of the reaction. And the reason for that is that as the size of the lump decreases, the surface area to volume ratio is increasing. So because of this, we've got more exposed particles and therefore we have more frequent collisions. So the rate of reaction increases. And I've given you a diagram at the bottom there just to show you this. On the left, we've got one big lump and obviously our green particles can only collide with the very outside surface. Whereas on the right, we've broken it up into smaller pieces and therefore there's more available particles on the surface for the green particles to collide with. So we have more frequent collisions and therefore an increased rate of reaction. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe and explain the effect of the rate of reaction when we change the surface area of a material.